Today is actually my favorite day of SHOT Show. Upstairs are all the million dollar booths with the big gun companies and everything like that. But down here, you can find everything from an armored ATV to a little toilet you can poop in in the backyard or two different gun accessories. We're gonna try to find the coolest innovations, gadgets, and accessories for hunters and shooters in this video. Let's go. This is the ounce from Third Bay. So you carry it like this when you're ready to use it. Florian, it's ready to shoot. It's a semi-automatic pistol designed for concealed carry. It so, holds uh, 10 rounds in the magazine, one in the chamber, and it's chambered in 22 long rifle. You guys have a very interesting new scope. So it looks like your traditional scope, but you touch the top turret and there are no clicks at all. And then you look in the scope and at the very top, you have your own heads up display. It has everything there. So when you want to dial to, you know, whatever that distance is that you get on your rangefinder, you're spinning this and you can even go between the clicks. That's why it's smooth. Then on your phone, you guys have an app yeah. that you can insert all your ballistics. Take a bullet profile and app, you upload it via Bluetooth to the scope. It takes that MOA, translates it to yardage. So when you dial, you see your dial distance in yards. So what is, what, like, what's this number, the 2.7? So this is your wind hold for 573 yards or whatever distance you're dialed. And on our first focal plane reticle, we have one MOA hash marks on the sides. So at this distance, pull 2.7 MOA off, it'll pull value in and you'll be on target. I've seen a lot of component stocks some of them are so expensive that you know if you have a less expensive rifle it just doesn't make sense but boyd's has some very inexpensively priced rifles stocks that are dang impressive so show us the at one fully adjustable stock length of pull adjustable by pushing a button pulling it out we also have different options on it to be more of a uh, upright pistol grip style stock so you can enclose this pull your grip forward so you get closer to your trigger and you showed me a whole bunch of different finishes on these. I think that one is beautiful. Yep, so now that's gonna be our Coyote. Um, this one is the Agility stock, which is our new stock. Um, it's gonna have more of a palm swell on it. Price point wise, they're gonna start out at that $237. That is awesome. Apparently, I'm with some people from Caveman. I don't know what this is. They just stopped <laughs> me in the hall and they promised me they have something cool for you. So, what do you got? Looks like a regular Cerakoted suppressor. Whoa! <laughs> so this is called our smoke coat. We basically patented temperature detection in firearms, and we're coming out with a Cerakote-based top coat that you can put on any Cerakote application. So this went on top of the American flag, and then it blacks it out. And then when you're going and having fun, it'll change color specifically when that device becomes no longer safe to handle or store. So super simple temperature change and a visual indicator of when not to touch okay. it. That is so cool. And so we can do any design. How hot does it have to get before it'll show? So 131 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 55 not many Celsius. Shots. Yeah, it depends on the platform. Um, 5.56, it happens real quick. Nine mil can take longer. Um, thing you can kind of start to see when it starts to change color. Uh -huh. Now you're ready to go. Yeah, and it just stuff. goes back to black so quickly. So a lot of scopes have a red dot in them, but you forget and you leave it on and the battery's dead the next time you go. Some scopes have the shake to wake feature that when you move it, it'll just turn on then it'll turn itself off. Well, Primary Arms made a battery cap that you can use on their scopes, but also some scopes from Burris and Vortex. You just use it, it has the battery, it has shake to wake, just upgrades the scope that you have. Pretty cool. This is a new trigger from Rise Armament. It is cool the way it works. So you guys know I love a two-stage trigger. That's where you kind of feel a little take up to a clear wall and then it breaks. This one gives you kind of a visual indicator of what's happening because you can see the first blade come and then you hit the second blade to go back. Really unique how it works. All right, dudes, you know how it goes. You ask the family if they want to go camping. There's interest, but your wife says you gotta figure out a toilet for me in the forest. This is where Insta Privy comes in. We'll see if they can convince you. Just put the bag over that comes with it. Lock it in. And when you gotta go, you don't have to go far to use the bathroom. You can use it instantly. So this is the FX Outdoors True Ballistics Chronograph. You don't have to set up how far away you are from the gun. Nope. You don't have to set the range of velocity nope. to be looking for. You don't have to pick if it's sound or Doppler no or whatever. Yep. You just set it there and it, you're telling me it's gonna record my velocity. 
not only Velocity, the, the name True Ballistics is what it's going to be doing. You're going to put in your profile uh, and it'll calculate the ballistic. It takes multiple readings and it'll show your, your ballistic profile based on the conditions you're shooting at. And you can record that stored. It, it all goes to a little uh, FX radar app and it, you can record your shot string, store your settings. With subsonic ammo and suppressed and of course regular. Any, any, 22 any caliber, air gun. 177 up to as big as you can get it. <laughs> I'm in love. This sounds great. Yeah. So when's this going to be available? Uh, we're making them now, so quarter two. We're thinking April. I love going out in the desert and just shooting steel with my kids, but I don't have a dedicated range set up, so I love having something portable. I saw this booth last year at SHOT Show, and I thought it looked cool, but my concern was how steady it was really going to be with the slide hammer that I'll show you in a second. And I'm happy to report I have never knocked the thing over. Let me show it to you. Like Jim was saying, this is the world's first uh, portable steel shooting platform. Now, the secret is the built-in vertical driver. So you can literally have a gun range wherever you're at. You just a couple of hammers into the ground, you're ready to go. This is the Omnis from AccuFire. It's around 1300 bucks. It's basically a digital spotting scope. Has 10 times optical zoom and then a whole lot of digital zoom. It's kind of cool. I could see it for a few uses. One is just training if you're at the range. If you don't have a spotter, it's nice that you can record yourself shooting so you can see exactly what happened. You can see the bullet trace out to a thousand yards, which I can verify because yesterday I shot with this thing out on the range. The other place that I'm tempted to use this thing is hunting to record hunts. It takes a big camera to really zoom in there. So this tiny little package would be cool. Runtime's only about two hours, but you can just use a little external battery pack like this and keep it charged all day. This is brand new this year. It's called America. Why not? Because it's business in the back, party in the front, but they still like the classic back end. So we've got the new America to fit the, the folks who are into this sort of thing. We also have, for folks who love truck guns and home defense, our first shotgun furniture for the Mossberg Shockwave. I'm gonna cut in a couple clips from home of companies that weren't at the show that I think are really cool accessories. This one is called My Medic. They're first aid kits in various sizes, like for a backcountry hunt, for you know hiking when you have a little bit more room, or one to keep under the seats in your truck so that you're ready for everything. Twice in my life, I've had to give CPR to save people's lives in emergency situations, just crazy things that happen. And let me tell you, it doesn't matter how trained you are, it's terrifying and you want to be prepared. This one, I really like this super lightweight tourniquet that they have on there. Some great stuff from my medic. So this right here is something uh, quite unique. It's an optical rifle scope, seven times prismatic with HD glass and parallax down to 10 yards but it's got a digital reticle that is uh, projected inside it. We've developed an Element Ballistics app. You send a, a ballistic profile, or four ballistic profiles actually, through to the scope. And once you've done that, uh, you can choose between a number of reticles, you choose your unit preferences, and it's a bunch of settings on here. And then you can either dial your elevation in, and your reticle will actually adjust for whatever distance you're shooting at, um, or you can connect to an external uh, rangefinder module or handhold rangefinder which will send the distance through and basically do the same thing adjust your reticle for you there were a ton of different vehicles but the one i want to highlight is called the eahora m1p it's super cool because it's a moped i think top speed's like 37 miles an hour totally street legal you got your horn lights blinkers everything and you just move silently <laughs> It's so quiet when you drive the thing, and it looks sick because it's like a full-size chopper. The angle I'm taking for this one, I asked the company if they'll let me take it coyote hunting, so I will in an upcoming video, so I can just move silently along the dirt road between stands on an electric chopper. Looks pretty cool. Check it out, the Eahora M1P. Gas prices got you down and driving your truck around town. You might check out that one. Hey guys, I'm Jeff with Desert Tech. Uh, today, wanted to show you our SRS M2. This is our bullpup precision rifle. Um, as you can see, the bolt and magazine are back here. It is a bullpup design. So this is a 26 inch barrel in the rifle right here, you can see. So the bullpup design greatly reduces the overall length of the rifle. It is a multi-caliber rifle. It comes guaranteed uh, half MOA from the factory. Remington announced a brand new cartridge. It's called the 360 Buckhammer 
and it's kind of a limited use cartridge. The idea behind it is those Midwest states that require a straight wall cartridge because they can't shoot as far, this is for that. There's already the 350 Legend, but this one adds a little bit of powder behind it so it can shoot a little flatter, which is a little ironic because that kind of defeats the purpose of a straight wall cartridge, not shooting very far, but it does look cool. It's coming out in some Henry rifles. I'm here with JK Armament. They make suppressors near my hometown of Boise, Idaho. And the suppressors are tiny. Actually, a fan of Backfire stopped me and told me I need to stop in and look at this because they tried this tiny little can on handguns uh, and it works pretty well. Very well. It comes with five baffles, so it can be anywhere between 20 to 23 decibels on average. It's the best so way tiny, it's cute. It feels like you could get it out of one of those claw machines, right? <laughs> <laughs> with a tax stamp, that'd be great. Yeah. We have an 8x42 and a 10x42 model. Just like all of our other laser rangefinders, it has angle compensation, hunt mode, rain mode, you name it. My favorite feature is that the buttons are on the opposite sides. I hunt in Indiana, so I'm always wearing gloves in the cold. So it's really nice to have the separation of the buttons for me. The How eight far power, do they range? The 8 power ranges out to about 1,800 yards, and the 10 power is out to about 2,400 yards. All right, I was walking down the hall, and you stopped me and said you've been watching Backfire. So tell me about Shooting Targets USA. So Shooting Targets USA is uh, an all USA company from the steel we use to the people that we hire. The worst thing about going to the range is setting up your targets. Yeah. So I can break down this whole target in about 30 seconds. We'll and see it. Timer or now? One, two. <laughs> Uh, it only took four. What's that? That's amazing. 30 seconds. Yeah, so like I mentioned before, everything uses our same base. So our Texas Star, which is brand new for us, same base, same arm. And what calibers can you shoot on that? You can shoot, I shoot uh, 40 yards with a 308 all the time. It is the best priced, one of the most feature -rich, rich shot timers on the market. One of the cool things about it, you see it's just a black box with a speaker and a microphone and a switch and a button that activates it. Your readout is through a free, all-inclusive, no-ad application. That becomes your shot time data right there. Review For it later. somebody that doesn't shoot competition but does want to get better, how do they use a shot timer? Like, what are they, what's it gonna do for them? Well, that's the thing is like, how if, if you only spend time shooting in target, well, what you're measuring is your level of accuracy, but how long did it take to get those hits on target? Thank you for choosing Backfire's coverage to watch SHOT Show 2023. We'll see you in the next video.